and welcome back to my channel so I just wanted to up upload a quick like chatty vlog um kind of talking to you about something so I've had a lot of you guys message me on Facebook wishing me um, you know like a safe and happy and all that and a safe and happy delivery and all that and it's been so sweet reading your messages so thank you for all that um so you guys have been asking a couple pregnancy or yeah I guess postpartum actually related questions and I want to answer them super quick in this video so it is just a kind of a sit down vlog because I'm too tired to set up the camera but I did want to get stuff out for you guys so the first question that you guys were asking um, I actually addressed it was the most popular that I got I addressed it in my pregnancy update which I think you might have seen you should have seen by now because I posted it um, yesterday so yeah my pregnancy update I talked about the breastfeeding what my plans are so I kind of talked about that one already but the other question I've been getting a lot of is what is my biggest fear like what I'm most nervous for postpartum because a lot of you guys are new moms and you're asking you know just so you have an idea of maybe what you should be looking out for so for postpartum like almost immediately postpartum what are my fears um, the biggest thing that I am nervous always nervous for is breastfeeding but that's just because I've had issues um, with breastfeeding it's kind of like a whole issue because I'm mostly nervous for kind of I guess not getting sleep because when I'm breastfeeding um, they don't nurse properly that I honestly when I say I nurse all day I mean it. I'm sitting on the couch and they're just popping on and off so that is my biggest fear that that's what is gonna happen with nursing however what I am doing to address this fear I kind of talked about in the video in my last video about uh, that I'll be making their own formula and just I'll just give her formula and I'm not gonna stress about it um, but so that's one of the fears anyways the second thing that I have like been fearing is the postpartum uterine contractions they get worse with every child and the first ch time like with John they weren't too bad they were bearable with Aaron they were excruciating and this is this is coming from someone who gave birth without meds so they were excruciating um, especially that you think you're gonna be over with all of the pain and no you're not just a heads up um, so this time around my third I expect it obviously to be a lot worse and I'm really 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 nervous um, especially that Advil and Tylenol don't really work well for me so I am extremely nervous um, but yeah so those are my fears um, another question that I was getting is what I always like to do right before baby comes in terms of like pampering myself and stuff like that um, and to help me relax so the biggest thing is getting a lot of sleep whenever I can I will nap whenever my kids let me I will nap and just rest just so I know I have energy for the big day the second thing that I like to do um, is I actually did it so get my nails painted so I went to a salon and got my nails painted pink festive for the little girl um, they're not too long or anything. My nails are actually sure they keep breaking, but I still got them painted. That way I can feel really good right after labor, like postpartum. I can be like, I look good. Um, my nails are done, my hair's done, whatever. Um, hi, Bubba. So that's the next thing. He just woke up. So that's the next thing is, yeah, I really just want to, um, I always just get my nails done when it's really close or my hair done. So last time I painted my own nails, but then I went and got a haircut and a blowout. And that night I went into labor, so it was perfect because my hair looked good through, like, not that I care about it, what my hair looks like during labor, but it looked good, like, through labor and after labor. Um, but this time around I switched it, so I got my nails done and I did my own hair. I recently just got it cut, so I do my own styling. Um, so, yeah, I did that. Hey, Bubba, come, come see mommy. Come see mommy. Um, one of the other questions I've been getting a lot of is if I'm going to be having the boys stay, like, with other people for excuse me, a long time or if they're going to be in the house and no, they're going to be in the house. I don't want to send them away because then they're going to feel like they're replaced or whatever. So I will have people help me take them out during the day, you know, for a little outing so I get a break. Um, and then I will also have one of my siblings or someone stay here with me when they're home, but definitely they will be home and they will be sleeping in our house. So um yeah so definitely i'm gonna keep them around i don't want them to feel at all replaced especially aaron who is still such a baby and so clingy to me hey baby come here bb he's climbing stairs um so yeah so those are the main questions but um yeah i've just been really getting the house like fresh and ready always making sure no matter what time of day it is it is spotless dishes are like the sink always has to be empty now and stuff because when i go into labor i'm not going to want to worry about cleaning so i am making sure that the house is perfectly clean at all times everything is organized as soon as the boys are done playing with something i pack it up and clean it because i know as soon as like my water breaks or contractions start to hit i have other important things like setting up the bed and you know all the baby stuff 
and leaving up snacks with the midwives. I have more important things to do than to be cleaning. So yeah, um, another thing that I did is just got that orchid on the table. It was, um, um, I think in my last video, but um, yeah, I bought flowers. I have flowers for upstairs as well. So when I'm in labor and I honestly don't know what it is, but they really help me relax. They really do. They calm me by having fresh flowers in the house. Hi. So um, I set up, you know, some flowers all over the house to just keep it fresh and looking nice. And that really does help me to relax. So those are some of the things that I've done. Hopefully that answered some of your guys' questions. Um, but yeah, I really can go anytime now. I'm 39 and a half weeks. So I have like three days actually to go only. So which is kind of crazy, but really exciting. I hope she doesn't come late, but um, either way, I will let you guys know and you will see on one of my social medias. It will help if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, so you can at least get an update when baby comes, because I'll be posting there as well, just giving you guys like an update. Probably Facebook, mostly, and maybe even Instagram, actually on all of them. So yeah, follow me somewhere, and the links are all down below. But yeah, I will see you in my next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.